Just days after the double shooting in Starkville that left two men dead, city leaders are taking action to try and protect folks from gun violence. This afternoon, the mayor, police chief, and an alderman all oversaw the installation of a new surveillance camera in the neighborhood where the shooting took place. WCBI's Stephen Pimpo was there and joins us now live in the studio with a story. Stephen. Joey Starkville Mayor Lynn Spruill told me she wanted to take immediate action to keep the citizens of Starkville safe in the wake of Wednesday's shooting. Today, the first of three additional surveillance cameras was installed, which can help police solve crimes and more importantly, prevent them from ever happening. My 12 years, I've always been concerned about this and I have made, I made the statement numerous of times that it was going to take a tragedy for us to react and get involved and do what we need to do. Ward 7 Alderman Henry Vaughn says gun violence has been a problem in Starkville long before the deadly shooting that claimed the lives of his nephew and another man Wednesday night. That's why he says he is so grateful that Mayor Lynn Spruill and Starkville police are installing a surveillance camera in the neighborhood just days later. When you have a place that uh, needs to have some attention right now, then right now is what we do. So we're getting it done. The camera is being installed on this telephone pole that directly overlooks the spot where the two men were struck by gunfire. 32-year-old Justin Vaughn died at OCH Regional Medical Center that night, while 32-year-old Ernest Perkins Jr. died Thursday at a Jackson hospital. The mayor and police chief Mark Ballard say they wanted to take immediate action before this happened to someone else. We have tried uh, the same technique for some time as simply not working. The police cannot be everywhere at all times. Mayor Spruill says the city has two more cameras they hope to install in other parts of Starkville within the week. In this case, we were very fortunate that we had some cameras that were available that were going to go around the community and other locations. Chief Ballard says the Jackson Police Department saw crime drop 51 percent in areas they employed similar surveillance methods. Through the use of technology, we'll be able to place a 24-hour presence that is needed. Alderman Vaughn agrees that the time is now to get this done so that children in that neighborhood don't have to be afraid to play outside. I want them to grow up and be a child and be able to, you know, say they lived a child life. The rate they're going down there, when they, we'll lose a whole generation with the rate they're going now. Chief Ballard says his investigators believe they have a good idea of what happened the night of the shooting, but are waiting on lab results and getting additional statements from witnesses before they release any more information to the public. But he does say there is no current active threat to the community.